What is up guys? We have got a Dutch opening here and I'm already down a minute. Oh my goodness. Um, Let's see, we're going to get a normal Leningrad. This is nice. D3, and let's see what black wants to do. Knight f6 is normal. I think I should go knight c3. Okay, there should be 7, d4, these are all normal modes. I've seen d4 plenty on my level. Um, so castling, and after castles, um, we can definitely get probably in just an equal position with e4. I don't know what, what else to say about that. I mean, it's probably the right decision if I'm going to play knight c3, otherwise the structure doesn't make much sense. Probably should play a little bit faster, by the way, guys. Okay, luckily he's playing that move. The only reason why I don't like this is because of knight g4, but this position is not specifically dangerous for me um, if, he, if, he, that, if that happens, I think. So h3 is going to be my next move. Yeah, I don't know why he's not preventing this onslaught with g4. Um, this is mandatory to prevent as as black, and he's going right into my f5 move. And g4, g5, h4 h5, and I'm going to absolutely pulverize him on the king's side. With a future preparations move, preparation moves such as bishop d2, queen e1, a3, g4, queen g3, h4. I can just, he already knows this. This is going to happen. I will not show any mercy to this guy. Okay. g6. Wow. Um, I never thought that was playable. Okay. Well, I am shocked, honestly. Uh, let's see, bishop h6 looks pretty obvious. Something about bishop h6 feels right, but I, I just can't put my finger on it. Okay, knight g3 first. Let's see what happens. I want to prepare g5 so knight h5 doesn't happen. Um... Yeah, I mean, g5 right here is possible. I mean, g ticks looks normal. e ticks looks very normal. Hmm. Very difficult to say. Very, very difficult to say because I definitely want to kick this knight eventually. So he's going to probably go e4, so I have to really prevent this. Um, I'm just worried a little bit about my loose knight here on g3. Um, that is a point of weakness that I must really look out for in this kind of position. Um, bishop h6, why is this not just checkmate already? Okay, g5 looks totally normal. I want to move this knight. I, maybe knight d2 and knight e4 is the right approach to this position. Maybe not now because of knight e3. I'm not really worried about knight e3. He can have my bishop if he wants it. Let's see, knight takes e5 um, is not working. But knight h4 is the plan, right? Um, if I go f6 though. Maybe f6 first, and then knight e4, and knight h4. Find the good spots for these knights. That is the goal here. Um, should I play knight h4 first? I don't know. I mean, I definitely want to plug this hole first. That's for sure. Okay, sure, he gets bishop f5 in, but I don't really care. Knight h4 is um, going to threaten his bishop here in this position. And I'm really just threatening to go knight h4 here and bring my queen to the h5 square. This looks very annoying for um, for black given that I'm going to capture with my bishop and this bishop is just a beautiful piece if he captures here on e4. So the obvious move is you know bishop g6 and here I will, I'm just thinking um, how to further improve my pieces I think um, see, bishop g6 is pretty obvious, but knight takes g6, h takes g6. Does this mate somehow? Knight takes g6, f takes g6 looks just terrible for black. Maybe it's okay though. 
Knight of five looks normal. Knight of five, bishop takes a five is forced. Knight rook f five, and then I mean that looks just terrible for black, honestly. I wish there was a way to get this bishop out of there. Um, not f5 because this bishop's hanging. I don't know what else he does. He has to take this. Takes, rook takes, and what is black's defense? Knight f4, bishop takes f4, d takes f4, queen h5. What is the big idea? Yeah, I, I don't understand this position really. I think also just taking is fine. I'm taking a lot of time because um, because this position is really nice, and I'd like to maximize my results out of this position. H takes is just suicidal, I think. Yeah, he has to go fix. No doubt about that one. Um, so I definitely have this option <clears throat> of going bishop f3, bishop g4. This looks like a good maneuver, uh, in my opinion. So the idea is pretty much strategic stuff. I'm just going to go bishop g4 and control this long diagonal right here. This looks like a very nice position for me. h6, I am probably going to play h4. Yeah, okay, this is forced. Okay, we got the capture in, and now we have to play bishop g4. Knight d4 I'm not afraid of because of c3, and if he goes e2, then bishop takes e2. And I'm doing good in that position. Okay, so when he plays e2, which is like the only move to get to make sense of what he's just done, um, you know, I mean, what else do you do? I mean, I don't know why in the world you would play this move. Yeah, this is just a very bad position for black. I mean, just gonna go. I mean, I just have a beautiful knight on e4. I've never had that. Haven't had that good of a piece in a while. Um, I mean, it's really almost mate. F7 is already a move here. Yeah, he has, to, he has to prevent that one. Okay, let's just go h4, h5, and absolutely pulverize him on the king side. h4 is just also a strengthening move. I think that uh, black is looking for answers in this position. Probably c4 in this position. I don't really care about my d4, d4 square weakness. I want to make sure that this bishop is never activating itself with the c4 pawn push here. And with my knight blockading, this bishop is just so bad, so bad in this position. Unbelievably bad. Um, what should I do, though? h4 looks totally normal. h5, I mean. But maybe I have to improve my pieces slightly first. So now I have some ideas with rook f3, you know, rook g3. These are very normal kind of maneuvers in this kind of position. This, the, the important thing is that he doesn't have an entry square. Um, after after in this in this kind of position, so queen d7, rook g3 is actually the idea. Maybe rook h3, I think, right? And now uh, he doesn't really have an entry square in this kind of position, I think. I might just cover the pawn again with rook d1 just in case he um, he tries to kill me on any kind of way here. I'm uh, just slightly nervous about my king position here. Queen f5 is met by rook f1. I, I think that's very good for for, uh, for me. Black is just totally paralyzed in this kind of position. I'm not really sure what his plan is. I don't know what Black's move is. Yeah, he's got to go b5. I mean, yeah, very reasonable. But we're going to go here, here, b3, um, and, um, you know, not allow Black to do much here. Um, he might go rook b8. I'm not really nervous about that, but, I mean, I do have to watch out for it. Okay, so his threat is queen d4, rook b2. And... Preferably, I've got to meet that move somehow. So, huh. 
How do I meet that though? That's that's very fascinating. Maybe Queen D4 Rook F2 to support this position entirely. I think that should be good for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna allow the queen trade, of course. And now h4, h5, here we come. h5, h h takes g6, here we come. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I have a bad, bad cough today. Um, let's see. I know I'm down on time, guys. I am deep, deep doo doo here, aren't I? So let's take with the rook. And then g6 is threatened in that position. That's very bad for black right there. <laughs> very, very bad position. I'm not sure what he's why he wouldn't take. I'm threatening h takes and opening the h file looks suicidal for I mean bad position like a bad position for him. Um, the moment this rook moves, I'm playing f6 seven and I think I'm getting to the f6 square. That's really helpful for me too. This configuration is really nice. I don't know why he's hanging a rook here. Um, that looks pretty bad for him. He he can't really activate. I think. Yeah, let's just make sure he can't move at all. And now knight d6, maybe. And we can also just take. Okay. Let's bring the rook back over here, and then just kill him. Or just protect the pawn, I don't really care. Okay. Okay, there is checkmate, sir. Or not. Oh no, I, I rushed, guys. Shame on me. Aw, oh, man. Now I gotta mate him in this way. He's avoiding all the mates. Shame on him. Alright, let's promote to a queen. Very, very surprising that there's no maiden one here. At least we got a mate, you know. So um, I rushed there with the checkmate, but I mean it was totally winning anyway there. But uh, so uh, I probably missed a mate somewhere, but we can review this really quickly. Black, black just got absolutely. Um, black played a bad position on chess, in my opinion. Uh, some bad position, like g6. What is this? What is this g6 move? Um, he's asking me for a rematch, and I can't do it right now. But um, So g6 was a bit questionable because my knight goes to g3, and this is just a permanent weakness here on the g6 square. Um, these dark squares are never going away. And, um, you know, his plan with g takes g2, I don't think this is a valid plan. I think he should go rook g8. And, oh, I like the color of that square. Chess.com live changed their colors. Interesting. Um, so g6, and the structure is just not good for black. I thought he would go e4 in this position, followed by, um, you know, going for compensation along that diagonal. But I'm not too, so convinced that, um, that, uh, you know, black has just enough compensation or anything. I think this is just a pawn for white, and there's just a massive attack coming, probably. Well, maybe. Not there, of course, not queen of four. Queen of four is not possible. Maybe bishop g5 and followed by that. And the game was just some kind of indication of how bad it got but for black. I'm pretty sure that was pretty much positionally um, very bad for black for the rest of the game. So I think g6 was just the big mistake. Also allowing f5 in the structure is unacceptable in my opinion. Um, what black really has to do instead of queen c7 is definitely knight g4. I've had this theme come up a lot of in a lot of my games and I think um after h3 knight e knight e3 um bishop takes e3 d takes e3. You know this pawn is very annoying to actually try to get I think in this kind of position. Um maybe c3 is going to be played and very interesting play um can happen in this kind of position. Um well I can play queen b6 possibly uh, followed by rook d8. B5 is B5 is also certainly possible here. Um, White's idea is definitely to play this d4 followed by queen c1 and queen takes e3, picking up this pawn. So black really has to hurry. Not really sure what he should do. Um, e5 looks normal, but I might just take that pawn. 
Um, yeah, that does not look good for black, actually. Mm, queen b6 looks potentially interesting. Maybe, maybe queen c2, rook d8. Mm, I don't like the queen, queen on c2 placement, actually. I like the queen on c1, so I can go rook b1 anyway and prepare to take this pawn. Very, very interesting play. I, I've had this similar ideas in a game before. Rook b1, a4. Yeah, but the, the pawn was here so that the bishop, bishop could come here to attack the pawn. But maybe that's why I'm thinking this position. White's just clearly better with the pawn weakness over here. And the pawn center is just very, very strong for white. I think white's better. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking your time to watch this game. And please subscribe to the channel or, you know, do all that audience member stuff that uh, that you guys are awesome with. Stay cool, guys.